Hello, are you looking to buy a knife sharpener but don't know which one to get? After all, there are hundreds of knife sharpener out there, so it can get pretty confusing. Today, I'm going to review the knife sharpeners that I do have, and I hope this will help you make your decision to buy your next knife sharpener. These are my ceramic stones. These are my diamond plates. These are my wet stones. And this is my guided knife sharpener that I built myself. These two ceramic stones are made by Spyderco. This is the medium grit and that's the ultra fine grit. Um, these, these two stones have uh, good reviews on the internet, but personally myself, I don't use them anymore. Uh, I just don't think they're superior. They're made out of ceramic, so they will last a long, long time. But I don't find it's a superior sharpener. Um, the pores get clogged up with steel and then you have to uh, wash it with an abrasive. And um, I tried sharpening my straight razor on these stones and I couldn't get, get it really sharp. And I look on it under my microscope, the blade, and it was uh, tearing the, the edge of the blade. You could see that on a microscope. On a water stone, it does not do that at all. Um, so for this reason, I don't use these ceramic stones anymore. These diamond stones here, made by DMT Diamond, are really good quality. I like them. Um, they will sharpen the knife really fast. Um, the problem with these is that the diamonds can be in inconsistent. So some of the diamonds can be bigger than others, especially when the plates are new. And uh, also the finest I could get is on the green dot here is 1200 grit. Now that, that won't get your, your knife sharp enough to shave with. It will get it sharp. Um, a lot of people would be happy with these. They, they sharpen fast. They will last you a lifetime. They stay flat. But if you want to get your knife razor sharp, if you want to cut through that uh, tomato skin easily, um, I wouldn't get these because it, it will not, uh, you know, at, at the finest grit, which is 1200 grit, it will not get your knife like a razor blade. After being obsessed with sharpening knives for the last three years, the water stones and the guided knife sharpening system is definitely my favorite. The reason that I like the water stones so much is because the water flushes out the steel particles, exposing fresh grit all the time, giving a consistent high quality grind. And finally, my guided knife sharpening system. The advantage of this system is that it gives you the perfect angle every time. Now, I've made this jig myself, but you can buy it. And I recommend that you buy it because the time that I, the hours that I put into making this jig, um, it, it's just not worth it. You can buy a good one for three or $400. There's the uh, Apex Edge Pro. Um, there's a Hap Stone. There's the Wicked Edge and there's others. Um, the half stones look like it's a good one at a reasonable price. And um, this one here, I, I used the sandpaper that I glue on to this aluminum bar. Uh, but if you buy the half stone or the Wicked Edge, uh, you can either get di diamond plates or water stones. Um, diamond plates are, are good if your knife is really, really dull but uh, definitely finish with the water stone. Like I said earlier, the water stone will give you your sharp, like uh, make your, your knife like a razor blade. Okay, now you know which one are my favorite knife sharpeners and it's the water stones and the uh, guided knife sharpening system. But you might wondering, be wondering which one is the right one for you. Well, if you just want to sharpen your knives once in a while, it's just for you. Uh, you don't want to acquire the skills of uh, freehand sharpening. Then the guided knife system is definitely the way to go. I have sharpened these two knives here freehand with the water stones. But again, it takes a lot of practice to get a knife sharp. 
freehand. This is my uh, Spyderco paramilitary knife. This is an amazing knife. It's got uh, the blade here is uh, CMP S30B. This is super hard steel, super sharp. But it's not cheap. I think I paid over $120 for this knife. This is my kitchen knife. It's a Miyavi Birchwood 5000 series. This is not cheap either. I paid over $350 for this knife. But this knife is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if I have enough requests, I will make a video how I sharpen my knives on the water stone. Thanks for watching.